Welcome back and in today's video I'll be showing you how to add and how to use the Gboard app on your iPad. So the first step is to launch the App Store, then use the search feature and look for Gboard. Once you found it, simply tap on Get to install the app onto your iPad. And then from here, tap on Open to launch the app. So continue the process in landscape mode and tap on Get Started. And then from here, you'll need to enable full access to your Gboard. To do so, go back to Settings. And in Settings, select General. And under General, look for Keyboard. From here, select Keyboards. And then at the bottom, you should see Gboard. So tap on it, then tap on the toggle to allow full access. Confirm your choice. And now you can start using the Gboard. So go back to the home screen and open Gboard. Then from here, you can now continue with your customizations. So you can allow add languages to your Google Keyboard. So tap on languages, select add language, and then scroll through this language list and choose which languages you want to add. You'll notice that the languages are being installed as language paths. Then once you've added your maximum of three languages, you can now continue with your customizations. So you can go to keyboard settings and choose to enable or disable any of these features. You can go to your search settings, themes, you can customize how your keyboard looks like, and you can even choose what stickers you want available on your keyboard. Once you've done with that, now it's time to start using it. So open up a place where you want to type. It can be your messages, it can be your notes. And then you'll notice that it's currently set to your default Apple keyboard. So to switch to your Gboard, long press on the globe icon as if you're changing languages. And then from this list of options, you should see Gboard. Highlight and select that option. Now you'll be taken to your Gboard. So from here you can custom type out anything you want on your Gboard. You can enjoy all the features that are available on the Google Keyboard. If you want, if you have multiple languages added onto your Gboard, again, long press on the globe icon and you have all sorts of options to choose from. So you have a maximum of three languages. I have English, Arabic and Dutch added onto my keyboard and I can choose any option and you'll notice it switching. If you want to return back to the default Apple Keyboard, again, long press on the globe icon, select this third option. So if you're in English, it will be labeled the next keyboard and you'll refer back to the default Apple keyboard. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.